Welcome to Positively Dreaming, episode one. I'm very excited to start a new podcast with everyone. Each week, we will discuss current events and trends and how we can improve our lives through dream work and taking positive actions. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Didi Jabrell. I've been interested in dreams and interpretations my entire life. As a teenager, I met a friend and we would interpret dreams together. And that kind of got me realizing that I can interpret other people's dreams. And through the years, I interpreted dreams for friends and family. And even would hear other people talk about their dreams, and just analyze them myself and not even share what the results were that I got. But just for entertainment, I really enjoy interpreting dreams. And about two years ago in 2022, I went public and I now do dream interpretations for those who are interested. If you need a little bit of help and guidance on how to interpret your dream, I do that. And that's at the dreamsinterpreter.com. But for now, I want to get into the first week of fall. I love fall. It's a way of setting new intentions. I always, each fall, I try to do something New every season is a time to set new intentions, clear out old things. And so there's a few things that I always like to do. One of them is change the batteries in the smoke detectors because whether you rent or own, it's for your safety and also for your wellness. If you don't replace that battery, it may wake you up in the middle of the night and scare you or the, just the beeping going on is going to be really annoying and you're going to lose a night of sleep. I always change the filter in the heat and air system because you've collected all of the three months, four months of debris and you want to purge that and start with something fresh. And something new that I just saw recently, it's called fridge scaping. It's where you basically decorate the inside of your refrigerator. People are sticking like toy horses and flowers. They are decorating with actual decorations the inside of the refrigerator. I thought, that's actually a beautiful idea. Maybe not go as far as putting a toy horse in your refrigerator. Just like cleaning it out. Every season, I do clean out my refrigerator. I take everything out. I throw away items that I'm unsure of, how long I've had them, and make room for new stuff. And then I also completely clean it. I scrub it out and clean it up. And so I was thinking about the fridge scaping and I was like, that's a little crazy to put decorations in there, but why not organize things? And I have all these little baskets. I've been recently cleaning things out and I have all these little like Dollar Tree baskets. And so I've been separating things into the little baskets and it's just a way of organizing yourself because when you start to organize things, it helps you organize your thoughts as well. You don't feel stressed. You open the refrigerator, you know where everything is. You open a drawer, you know where everything is and it helps with stress. And so. When you're starting something new, a new project or anything, you don't want to have everyday stresses that you could avoid just by being more organized and clearing things out. It's hard to do it daily, but if you just do it seasonally, then it's much easier to tackle. You only have a few months of buildup to go through. So let's talk about setting dream intentions. If you're going to start a new season, why not start uh, a new mindset? What do you want to get rid of as far as thoughts go? And what do you want to start? And so I like to set dream intentions. Maybe you want to look for a new job and you don't know how to get started or you feel hopeless that you won't be able to find a job. And so you want to set a dream intention that your subconscious will lead your conscious mind into finding the correct listings that you're looking for. When you set this intention that I want to find the job that's right for me and that I'm right for them. When you have that intention before you go to sleep and start the dreaming process, when you then are on your computer looking for a job or out and about networking, you will subconsciously know what to push aside that you don't want to explore and the ones that are going to stand out are probably the right opportunities for you. So if you do struggle with that, it's a great idea of trying to figure out what you want and set the dream intention for some guidance. I want to help guide you with the first episode. It's the first day of fall. Why don't we set our dream intentions this first night, this first week? Whenever you're hearing it, it doesn't really matter. Think to yourself, what do I really want to accomplish in the next few months before the new year starts? Write down 
what you'd like to accomplish. It could be anything, buying a new home, saving for a car, write that down in a complete sentence that you can now plant like that seed into your mind of how can I accomplish this goal? What do I need to know? And so write that out. As you go to sleep, you want to dwell on that. Think about it. Picture yourself if it's you want to buy a home. Picture yourself in that home, walking up to the door, ready to put the key in. Have a visual as you fall asleep. Our subconscious is very visual. It loves symbols. Taking my key and opening the door to my home. It's also symbolic of opening the key to your subconscious mind. So your subconscious will work well with that kind of information from your conscious mind. When you wake up in the morning, the first thing you want to do is start writing out those dreams before you do anything. If you're going to get up and go to the bathroom or make some coffee, you want to start talking about the dream out loud to yourself, what you saw, and then get to that paper as soon as possible or your phone and start logging in the information. I also want you to consider using a pen and paper. Go to the Dollar Tree and get a little spiral notepad and a pen and write out your dreams. You might start with your phone, but then transfer them to a dream journal or just the pad of paper. Write out the entire dream as you remember it. And then go through and highlight or circle the things that stand out to you most about the dream. There should be three good features of the dream that really stand out to you. Do this for a process of seven days. Some days you might not remember your dream. Then just go ahead and write down, I don't remember my dream, but make sure you write down something. This is how I feel waking up this morning. Rewrite the dream intention that you have each night before you go to sleep. Read the dream that you had the night before and then reset your dream intention. I believe this will guide you into understanding some information, getting some messages from your dreams that are going to guide you. After the seven days, go back and look at all of the dreams and see are there repetitive themes, are there repetitive symbols, see which ones you can analyze. You'll get an idea of what you think that means and see if the symbols are all lining up to come to a certain meaning and the whole week should go together. There will be different themes because you've had different experiences each day of the week while you're dreaming. That doesn't mean it's not applying what you want and using the things that you saw during the day as dream symbols. So you have to think about what do each one of these things represent to you. So an example would be if you set the dream intention that you were looking for work and during the day you had been at the harbor and were looking at boats, then boats and water appear in your dream. And you have to think, what do the boats represent to you? Are they freedom? Water could be emotions or water can carry you to the destination you're trying to go to. So then what else was going on in the dream? Because it's something that's telling you how you get to that boat. So I hope that kind of helps you get an idea of what to look for. Each episode will carry this a little further to help you understand how to interpret your dreams. So let's go over a couple of dream symbols. And then also I'm going to share a dream each week and do an interpretation to help you understand how to interpret dreams. If you have a dream that you'd like to submit, I can put your dream on the episode and analyze it for you. If you're doing seven days of journaling and maybe there's a dream that sticks out to you, go ahead and send it in. I'll put it on a future episode and we can figure out what it means. How about dream symbol refrigerator, since we're talking about fridge scapes? What does a refrigerator represent? It can represent different things to different people, but for most people, it's going to be where you keep your nourishment. You're keeping your food in there. It's what gives you life. Depending on what's going on in your dream, the refrigerator is about nourishment. So if you open the refrigerator and it's empty, it probably means that you need to uh, take care of yourself before dealing with other situations. If you dream that it's full of things you don't like, then it may be that you are being sustained and nourished, but you're not where you want to be. You want more. You want something better for yourself. So you always want to look at the entire dream and put the symbols together and see how it tells you the story. The subconscious is a storyteller. It's giving you all this information and it can be a really simple message, but it's telling it to you through a cool story. So let's go over a dream and interpretation with a breakdown of symbols, which is how I like to do dream interpretations. So we're going to start with a dream. 
Two men in a parking lot were throwing small objects into the parking lot across the aisle. It was night, and they seemed to be laughing or devious. They seemed to be trying to conjure something. I walked past them and tried to interact, but somehow it didn't seem right. I went inside the building, and there was a bathroom, and then I woke up. So first we'll work with the symbols. So the main characters are the two men. So the men in dreams can represent aspects of action, logic, or authority. Since the men were behaving in a mischievous way, they could symbolize parts of the psyche that are acting out in unproductive ways or perhaps are creating confusion in life. The number two, two often relates to balance, duality, partnership, or choices. In this context, it might indicate conflicting forces or dual aspects of a situation that the dreamer is facing. Parking lots. Parking lot can symbolize a place of transition or waiting where vehicles representing our journey or our life path are temporarily at rest. It may suggest a need to pause and reflect before moving forward. What about throwing small objects? That's odd. This could symbolize attempts to influence something indirectly or scatter energy in unproductive ways. The act of throwing can indicate attempts to get attention or affect outcomes, but in a haphazard manner. Laughing and devious, the people, the two men throwing objects were laughing. Their behavior may reflect mischievous influences around you or inner desires to break the rules, challenge norms, or rebel in some way. It was at nighttime, so it took place at night. Night often represents the subconscious, the unknown, or a time of introspection and dreams. So darkness can symbolize a period of uncertainty, mystery, or confusion in your waking life. And what were they doing? They were also trying to conjure something. So the idea that they were trying to conjure something could suggest being aware of attempts by others or yourself to manipulate or manifest something in life. This can reflect feelings of unease about someone's intentions or even doubts about your own efforts to create change. Walking past them. So the dreamer walks past these two men acting this way. So walking past the men without fully interacting may signify a desire to avoid getting involved in something that feels off or harmful. It could represent a choice to distance yourself from negative influences or unhealthy situations. Going inside the building. Entering a building often represents going inward or seeking refuge. Buildings and dreams can symbolize your inner self. So this may indicate a need for self-reflection or retreat from external chaos. Bathroom. Bathrooms are associated with cleansing, letting go, purging, and emotional release. So in this context, the bathroom suggests a need to rid yourself of emotional or psychological waste or burdens that you're carrying. So the overall interpretation is this dream seems to reflect a situation that you're witnessing but not fully engaging it, negative or chaotic influences around you, represented by the two men. You may sense that these forces are attempting to manipulate or influence outcomes in your life, but you wisely choose to distance yourself from it. By going inside the building and finding a bathroom, it appears you are seeking a safe space to cleanse yourself emotionally or mentally, perhaps from these disruptive energies. And they could be a call to trust your instincts, your intuition about situations or people that feel off and prioritize self-care and emotional release. Let me know what you think of that dream and the interpretation. Thank you for listening to my first episode of Positively Dreaming. Send in those dreams. And if you have any questions or themes that you would like me to discuss in the future, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Happy dreaming. 